Um, so this is how it's going to be arriving to you. There's a few things going on. There's the pennant color right here, and then um, there's also some guides and registration marks. Uh, the registration marks will be locked, and then these guides kind of give you some rough margins, although they can be turned off for the time being. The one you do need to excuse me, pay attention to is the pennant art area guide. Right here you can see it's still lit up as I toggle it on and off. That's where your artwork needs to fall. Um, also this pennant color one, you can select and change to whatever color is in your uh, palette. Um, we'll just make it a kind of a sea foam blue, whatever. Um, so the first thing we need to do is come over and grab one of our icons. This is going to be it for today. Um, I'm going to cycle through these and uh, I'm going to press Command V to paste it in there. Um, in this instance, I'm going to rotate it um, and then lay it out on the uh, pennant. So there's a lot of variables here um, because I don't know exactly what registration method you're going to use. Um, I'm going to assume for the purposes of this that uh, you are going to be using the overprint method. So we're going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to give this a different color. Let's say you were going to do a navy blue. That's not really navy. Uh, I'm going to do this blue over the sea foam. Um, I'm going to see if, let's see, we're going to center that. And we'll say that's good to go. So <clears throat> in this version, this blue is going to be printed right over the top of the this color right here. Um, super simple. All you would need to do is print this out you need to print out just this um, with these registration marks and you would be good to go. Um, and the way that we do that is we need to create color separations. So we're going to shut off everything that is not necessary. So the only things that I want left on there are this and these registration guides. Even though this is going to be blue when I print it, for the purposes of printing out the foam positive, I want this thing to be black. Um, so I'm going to shut off web only colors, come all the way down here. And you can see this is 000, or it's 000 on the RGB. On CMYK, you want all these to be 100. And that's going to give you the densest black possible. So we're going to click OK. So it turns black. Um, a quicker way to do that, probably the way I should have showed you, just go up to swatches and just simply click black. Now when you double click on this, it's registration black. Um, so that'll be fine for what we're doing today. Um, this is going to be one film positive, and the best way to save and print this is to go up to File and Save As. And then under Format, select Adobe PDF, and then give it a name that is appropriate. So maybe this is Pennant icon 3 blue. So we know that it's the blue plate that corresponds to icon 3 and we're going to go ahead and press save. Now it's going to give us some options. What we want to do is uncheck Illustrator editing capabilities and Acrobat layers from top level layers and we're going to click Save PDF. It's going to give you a little warning about some of the features won't be available. What they're referring to is the fact that you can't just drag this back into Illustrator and start working from scratch. When we uncheck that, that's why we got this. 
it's no big deal for what we're doing. We just want to make sure that we also have a backup copy saved as an Illustrator file. So we're going to click OK. It's going to save it. You can come over to Finder and find it. Go to image making, icons. You're going to double click it and open it in preview. And here it is. Here's our color separation for our blue plate. We're going to have to do that same thing um, for the uh, pennant color. Now, I'm going to be printing out some of these for you. If you're doing overprint, you don't have to worry about this step. This will be provided for you. I'm going to print this out so you guys don't have to pay loads of money to print out something that's essentially just a triangle. Um, so just to reinforce the concept, I'll show you how we would do that. We select it, go over here to the color swatch, click black. It's now black, so when it prints, it's super dark and opaque. Make sure the registration marks are on and that all other layers are off, like our icon. And then what we do is go to Save As, Save as a PDF, we'll say Pennant Icon, Green, even though it's not really green, let's just say that's where we wanted it, and we'll click Save. The reason for the registration marks, as we discussed in the demo, is that that will sync up all your colors. So then just note that the Preserve Illustrator editing capabilities is unchecked, as is this. And you simply click Save PDF. Click OK when it gives you the warning box. And that is it for overprinting. We're going to open the same file. And um, if you guys have, if you guys are using registrations such as uh, Knockout or Trapping or the Outline, we're going to get into that in the just a minute in the next uh, video.